Hello, fifth grade. How are you guys today? This is Mr. McAuliffe coming to you once again from your classroom here at St. Margaret's to read to you again this week like I've been doing ever since we've been out on our remote learning from home. <clears throat> so the book that I have chosen for this week is a very simple title called The Dot. Written by Peter H. Reynolds. The Dot. The art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah. A polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. So Vashti grabbed a felt tip pen and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it very carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, Now please sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. <clears throat> the next week, when Vashti walked into her art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above the teacher's desk. It was the little dot that she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, then a blue dot. The blue mixed with yellow and she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting, lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots, too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really good artist. I wish I could draw as good as you. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. <clears throat> Vashti smiled. She, hand <coughs> she handed the book boy a blank sheet of paper and said, show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggly line and then she said, sign it. I hope you enjoyed this week's story, The Dot as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. Fifth grade, I miss you not being here in front of me as I read to you each week like I used to do when we were here in school. I hope that you're all doing your schoolwork at home. You know, just because we're not in school doesn't mean we're not in school. Please listen to your moms or dads or whoever is helping you at home and make sure that you are getting Mrs. Gentilly your work. 
so that she knows whether